Oh my god, it's a lemon with eyes! How much would you pay for them on the front? About four pounds. Four pounds. Here, a quid. Can you believe it? Blackpool famous, one pound burger bar. A pound, a pound of burger, pound of slush, pound of hot dog. Unbelievable, isn't it? The wonder I can't feed my children. I'm so poor, it's unbelievable. Can't even afford full trousers. Hello people watchers out there, now I'm a person and you can watch me. Now we've got a world exclusive today. For those of you who know me, yeah, I'm Higgins at the famous One Pound Burger Bar. I see it on YouTube, TikTok and all that rubbish, yeah. Now today, I've got to do some modern case to me machine. Some horrible little person broke me ball. Me ball broke. Me handle on the big one snapped. Oh dear. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a button onto it. Onto it. Here. There we go. So that button's going there. But as, as every job is, yeah, it's never that simple, is it? So, so far, I've had to cut a panel out here to do that. And now I'm about to drill the hole to put the button in. So, believe it or not, this is an absolutely exclusive, yeah? The other YouTubers are killed to watch this, so this is the first one out there. So, safety first. I've got no glasses, so I'll just look away. And I'm going to drill a hole here. So excuse the noise now.
hold the hole. And now the idea is this button's going to go into there. So I'll just clean this up. So just give me one second. You just go and move the machine, move the Uji Maferky, whatever it is around, and have a look at all the buttons. If you've never seen this machine, this is the biggest one-arm bandit in the UK. This is one of them things you'd like to see in Vegas or something like that. So the basic idea is I'm wiring around this here and I'm going to have it so it's on a button. So you just press the button. So now what I've got to do is if you bring it closely here, I've got to call it a little grommet there. See them there? Now what I have to do is drill a hole there, drill a hole there, so when it goes down, the button secures on so it won't twist around. Does that make sense? She's nodding apparently. She doesn't talk. Why don't you talk? Are you shy, are you? She's shy. She's shy. She doesn't talk. And did anybody ever see what she looks like? And they not see what you So I'll describe her for you, okay? Yeah, she's a little bit shorter than me, yeah. She has quite a lot of tattoos, some, 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 some funny tattoos, actually. Got quite pretty glasses on her head, like uh, a multi-colour of hair. The hair seems to be multi-colour. Very penetrating eyes as well, but you've got to have a look at these shoes. See, yeah, have a look at them shoes. Now, that's a statement, isn't it, in itself? Oh, yeah, that's definitely a statement. Isn't it? Anyway, let's get back to the most important thing. That's obviously me on video. So let me just do what I'm doing here. So all I need to do is just mark this. One there, and one there, we'll sink. But again, those guys are technical to me. You know you're going to have people on the video going absolutely mad, he's not wearing safety glasses, he's not doing this, health and safety. Health and safety, blah! What a load of rubbish! Text in the right place. Yep, looks about the right place. The guy who built this machine originally, Rick, Richard, uh, from Skeg, he's going to be cringy watching this, going, what are you doing to my machine? That looks about right. So this is what we call a technical variation. And there you go. What a professional job, eh? So what I need to do now is pop this onto here. from there go up to there but what I've got to do now is I've got to grind a little bit of this plate out here so when I close it 
as you can see, there's a bit of a, uh, a thing there. So all I need to do now, and people think doing arcades is so simple, don't they, eh? Are we gonna get you to speak? You sure? You know, Rick never used to speak. Don't forget, if you've never seen me before, you will find me on Beyond the Edge, and that's the Rick channel, yeah? Or on uh, any of the other channels, Blackpool channel. Or you just type in Blackpool one pound bur burger, you'll find me. Or Blackpool sexiest male, you'll find me as well. Not on vain or conceited or anything like that. <laughs> See, she's laughing, so she's doing that. <laughs> so, I just need to cut a little bit of this panel out here. I say the trade, this is what we call a technical variation. Children, don't do this at home, okay? I'm a trained operator with this, yeah? Well, not really, but it sounds good, doesn't it? I just need to go for a little bit more of this. That's close to it. But joking aside, you have to actually know what you do with these, okay? Because they can be very dangerous. That's my political correctness done now. Okay. stuff isn't it eh? You can see the uh I forgot your name, what's your name? People watcher. See she does talk! I feel like getting the no! talk! Absolutely! This is exactly how I got Rick to talk. No. He never used to talk. So they now know what your voice is like now, don't they? It's alright Chris, I'll speed my voice up. Okay, that's all right. Then. Well I'm sure you weren't Chris at people watcher. Do you have a name? No. You don't have a name? No, no. So the unnamed woman. The question that people want to know is, are you single? Are you available for them? She's not telling me. Which one's that? She's not telling me. Is it a secret, is it? So they don't know if you're single. Is that, is that, do you do that, do you do that on purpose, do you? No, no, you don't do that on purpose. I just need to cut this a little bit here. Seven hours later. Yay! 
Yep, I've seen some tunnies. Right, that's the engineering side of it now. Now what I need to do, children, is I actually need to wire it, okay? So what I've got to do is I've got to do an extension wire from here. If we look here, inside there I've got two wires which actually operate the the switch, them two wires there. Now I need to extend this from there up to this switch here. And that's the basics of it. So we're just gonna cut the video off for a second, yeah? And this will be part two. So that's part one, the engineering part. Don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell there, and I'll see you in part two. Right, welcome to part two. So if you enjoyed part one, you'll enjoy this. If you didn't enjoy part one, why are you even here watching part two? And don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now she's just told me a name, apparently a name Fred. Is that right? It was something like that anyway, yeah? She doesn't, she wants to be uh, anonymous. I don't know why. She still won't tell me she's single or married or gay or straight or married to a horse or something like that. You never know nowadays, do you? Oh, by the way, we don't do political correctness, as you've probably seen the videos. Right, let me just, uh, what I'm trying to do now is salvage some wire, because I need to extend that wire, as I said. Now, obviously, being too tight to go and buy any wire. Yeah, this won't come out for some strange reason. So, technical variation on it. Let's cut it down here. So what I basically did do is, when I, when, I, when I break a machine up and a machine comes through its end of service life here, yeah, they're actually no good to me. So it's better that I break the parts down. So when I'm doing anything technical like this, it saves a fortune, actually, rather than buying new stuff, I can use stuff that I've re-salvaged. So that's my bit for the environment. Aren't I a good boy, eh, Sarah? Mark, John, Helen, what is your name anyway? You can tell me your name. So with Fred, okay, we, we're sticking with Fred, okay? She looks more like a Jemima, to be fair. I think that's what we name a Jemima. Who remembers Jemima on, uh, what was it called? What was that program called? Uh, I'm trying to get us to talk here. You know what the program was, don't you? You know what the program was. Okay, if you remember who Jemima, Big Ted, Little Ted, where they started, please put it in the comments below. This is the boring part of the video. Well, they're probably all the boring parts of the video. The You're video. not boring, Chris. Oh, she spoke again! Way! Way! Right. What is this not coming out? It seems to be stuck. Ah, here we go. So there are the little bit. So I need two strands of cable to start with. That's all I need there. And so all I'm doing is extending this. Now it's only low voltage which we use here because it's just a switch. So for all you geeks out there, oh my god, look at the size of that wire, it's not right. This is absolutely fine for what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be crimping some connections on it. So I stuck the wires at the end. And then I should have some here. This by magic. Oh, there they are. Now, these are male and female connectors. Yep. Now, does anybody know why they're called male and female connectors? There we go. Male connector, female connector. Very politically incorrect, but that's why they're called male and female connectors. Yeah, somebody sent me that because for some reason people are unsure about, unsure about my sexuality. Now, I don't know what gives that, a, the, do I give that gay vibe out or something like that? <laughs> so, Jemima, do you think I give that gay vibe out? You do? That's just not very nice, is it? I could be really offended for that. 
trouble is, so you, you want to see some of the messages I get sent. Oh my god, and some of the photographs I get sent. Some of them are just aren't normal or natural. Okay, so that's the one. Let's do the other one. It is absolutely riveting stuff, this, isn't it? I'm riveted. You're riveted, are you? Mm. Obviously easily pleased, aren't you? Oh, yeah. See, I asked her off camera if she's, if she's married, a single, gay, straight, but she still wouldn't tell me. She won't even tell me. All but of I, the above. Yeah, but I think, I think she might think I might tell you. you no, know, because I've got a bit of a big mouth, apparently. I don't find out, I don't, I don't think that's true at all. Right. So we've got them two together there, yeah? Now, what I've done is that's called crimping, which is basically you put the cable in there and you squash it. It's only like a very light alloy. And then you crimp it so the, the wires are nice and sturdy and you've got a good connection. So what we're going to go back to the machine now. And we're going to get the correct. So this by magic, one fits into the other one. Yeah, hey, isn't that special? So what I need to do now is I need to go to there. But obviously I need to make sure that the cables are out of the way. So what I'll do is I'll get super glue. Super glue makes it better. A little bit of super glue on there. How professional is that? Now, if you notice, I'm actually leaving a little bit of uh, leeway. So it's, well, what you don't want to do is you don't want to stretch the cable. If you stretch the cable, you can end up pulling it out of its joints and stuff like that. So there's actually reasons I do this. I'm not a complete cowboy, just half a cowboy. So I'll suggest we put them here. The only trouble is I'm getting super glue all over things and I've got to cook burgers in a bit yeah they'll be sort of yeah, they're gonna be uh, super glued together. So then we're gonna go across to there and so it's gonna be about there. So what I need to do now is put the other side on. So I'm gonna go along there. Along there, is that going to clear that? That's going to probably go on the inside, I'm guessing, so it clears that. Yeah, I'll do it like that, so I'll do it to there. Cut. Cut. Rick is going to be most upset that he never got the video to record this. Aww. He is going to be very upset. People ask me why doesn't Rick ever go on video. I'll tell you what I tell him all the time. It's because he's goddamn ugly. And he's ginger. It's the same with me. You're not. You're not. <laughs> She's fishing for compliments here now. <laughs> you know, she is. You find out with women, they fish for compliments. That's now. true. 
See, I could pick on the ginger because I used to be ginger. As you can tell with this sexy moustache I'm rocking at the moment, it's ginger with uh, a lot of uh, highlights in it at the moment. <laughs> it used to have highlights in it, but it certainly has now. Oh, that wasn't a great thing to do. Look at bugger. I think I overcrimped that. Everybody be laughing at that now. I'll cut that out, don't no, worry. No, no, leave it in, leave it in. I am, really. These things actually happen all the time. I'll have to go back over to my mate Pete. So I actually, I nicked these off Pete from Happy Days, who's a part of the Crap Boys, for those of you who know the Crap Boys are. And another one. What? Roy, is it Roy? Roy, yeah, well he's disappeared because he's gone off with Dolly the Sheep now. <laughs> because he's, uh, basically, he, he disappeared with a groupie. So he's following his, uh, his uh, you know what I mean. The cable is here. No. I'm going to talk with crap for a second because I don't want to put in music over this. Don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to send uh, Jemima any letters... People you, watching. So you, can, so if you can send it to uh, 6 to 8 Dale Street, FY1, something or other, to the crap box. Jemima will put the, uh, the address and all that up to the corner of this video. And please make sure you mark it to either People Watcher or to Jemima. Or Fred or Fred, either or, and then we'll make sure Jemima gets any of the fan mails. Not that you might get any, you know. Right, let's see if it works. Let's see if I actually know what I'm doing. Da -da 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 oh my God, I'm good, aren't I? How clever is that, eh? Look, it actually works. Yep, all working. So all I've got left to do now, children, is just put these wires out of the way to make this, make sure they're secure. Because I don't want them hanging around when I'm lifting the stuff up. So what I need to do is probably put them on now, I guess. And then if I put one. See what I'm trying to do is when this closes here, I don't want this slicing them. So I need to make sure there's plenty of clearance on there. So we're just going to pause this video for one second while I go and get a couple of little bits and then we're going to get back to it, okay? And for the lady subscribers out there, there you go, what a bad, eh? What a bad. And I'm going to show my tattoo off as well. I love this tattoo. See my tattoo? How sexy is that? Oh, look, we've got another letter box. We've got another letter here. Oh, here's another letter for the clap box. Just being posted with the postman. But don't forget, if you want to send Jemima any letters, Jemima is going to put the address right there. I'm not going to tell her the address so she's going to have to research me and find out the address. And then this one is going to go into the crap box with the rest of them. 
and then we'll do that. So please send some letters to Jemima. And don't forget, Jemima says if she gets any letters, she's going to reveal herself. Maybe. I know. I don't actually know what reveal herself means, <laughs> but she's going to reveal herself <laughs> anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll be back in just a minute, so we're going to pause it. So Jemima, just hit the pause button right there. A few moments later. I'm standing here just looking puzzled because I'm waiting for it to give me the three, two, one countdown. That's better. Come on, be a perfectionist, okay? Now it's all put together, all the wires are all back in the way. They go, look, it works. How cool is that, eh? I am going to replace the handle because I want to, uh, I want to have it done. So I've got the handle on, which goes there, and you can do that as well. But I'm going to have to have this re-engineered. And this is something that I can't do because you obviously need all the relevant equipment. So I'm going to have another one of these done, but I did want to be able to do it both ways. So let's just. Oh, I'll sit down and take this bit off. It's something pretty cool. You do. So you got broke a couple of days ago, and I've only just got back to fixing it now. Oh, look, winner! Everyone's a winner here in the Higgins Las Vegas of Blackpool. Right, don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell there. See you later, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget, send your mother some presents and she's going to reveal all to everybody. Won't that be a treat for us? Especially for the oh, lads not. out there. Hey, see you later, guys.